Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another Hockey Raiders News and Rumors Report. My name is Jim Parsons. I'm here with thehockeyraiders.com. It is December 16th today. We are halfway through the month of December. We're getting close to the holiday season. We're getting close to the NHL trade freeze. Uh, lots going on here in the NHL. Let's talk about some of those rumors right now. We'll start with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, lots about Jesse Pugliarvi, who came out to a Finnish uh, news reporter and said that he did not think he was playing very well. In fact, he thought he was playing so poorly that he questioned whether or not he should even be in the NHL anymore and whether or not he had the stuff to play with guys like Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, which, of course, led to all sorts of speculation that Jesse Pugliarvi might be traded by the Edmonton Oilers. The latest talk uh, is that if they can move him and a cap hit, the $3 million for nothing, no return whatsoever, they would consider that an internal win. They aren't quite ready to trade Pugliarvi at this point, says uh, a couple sources, because Ken Holland's waiting for folks like Warren Fogle, Ryan McLeod, Evander Kane, others to come back, so they have some forwards to slot in there if Pugliarvi goes. Uh, but Pugliarvi's not played well. He's only got one goal this season. He's doing some things okay defensively, but he's just not producing offensively, and it's not getting any better. Uh, Pat Verbeek from the Anaheim Ducks apparently had some conversations with Ken Holland and scouted a couple of games. They seem to be the favorite here in conversations. Uh, and John Klingberg might be the person coming back if there is a return here of some kind from Anaheim. Uh, now moving on to Vancouver and Brock Besser news. We've been talking about Besser for a while in multiple articles. Vancouver's given him permission to seek a trade, but and there are a lot of teams that are calling the Vancouver Canucks and interested. The trick here is that nobody wants to pay his full salary, and they've told Patrick Alvine and Jim Rutherford that uh, not a lot of takers at his salary without Vancouver retaining some, and the Canucks do not want to retain anything. A report is that they would be willing to maybe take a contract back, but they do not want to retain salary without getting an asset in return. That's going to slow things down on a Brock Besser trade. It looks like he's still going to get moved, but it could take a while for this to happen. The Minnesota Wilder team that are considered favorites here, he is from Minnesota. He'd probably be open to going to Minnesota, and the Wilder probably interested Again, it's just a return and the salary cap retention that gets involved in this deal. Moving on to St. Louis, we talked lots about Ryan O'Reilly and potentially being moved out of St. Louis to another destination. A recent report by Pierre Lebrun, I believe it is, of The Athletic, has said that the Toronto Maple Leafs have talked internally about trading for Ryan O'Reilly. No necessarily, Not necessarily conversations being had between St. Louis and Toronto yet, but that they're just trying to figure out whether or not they can work this out salary cap-wise. They've got some LTIR space for this. Uh, O'Reilly's played a little bit better of late with St. Louis, but he's had a very, very rough start to the season. So we'll see if he is moved, but the talk is that he probably will be moved. There is still a chance, though, that St. Louis could consider resigning him and how all this goes, we'll see. But St. Louis is a team that probably will make uh, some major moves here ahead of the deadline. And finally, in Montreal, Sean Monaghan is a player that we're watching that we believe is probably going to be moved out of Montreal. That said, the Canadians are saying that they are open to re-signing Sean Monaghan, and if they do not get the return that they are looking for in a trade at the deadline, which could be as high as a first-round pick, that they're happy enough to hold on to Sean Monaghan. They got a first-rounder to take him in the first place, so to get another first-rounder would be a massive haul for the Montreal Canadiens. But they do like his leadership, they like his experience, and he's having a really good season so far, so there is a chance they could keep him. So we'll see how all this goes. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Don't forget to check out thehockeywriters.com for everything else. Uh, all of the articles and all the news and rumors reports are on the site. You can check it out, and we'll talk to you again on another one. Stay tuned, everybody.